All right, all right, all right. This morning we are in the hook, and we got a couple cargo things we're gonna transport around. First thing is though, let's get the cargo system all good and ready. Let's get the emergency release arm. All right, now I like flying out of the, the co-pilot seat, so I'm gonna jump over there. All right, now I'm in the co-pilot seat. Now in the Chinook, there's no way, and in other other uh, helicopters here in DCS, there's no way to see your sling, your cargo load under your aircraft. So what I do is I take my uh, external camera, I believe it's the F4 camera, I call it the F4 camera, I think it's camera mounted on object or something, uh, which is this camera, and then I assign it, I position it right there with my uh, keys, my AWSD keys. I move it to where I want, that way I can jump back and forth from the cockpit view to that view. That way I can see what my cargo is doing. All right, so there's an explanation of that. Let's see, let me get my troop door open. I always like flying with that troop door open. It's cool as hell. All right, let's go up and do this. All right, and again, we're in the Chinook. I'm flying out of the uh, co-pilot side, the left side of the helicopter. And I am flying in VR. Alright, it's a big old fuel truck. Back in my early days of uh, my Air Force career, I drove a fuel truck for a bit. And then I cross-trained into photography. Videography photography. Alright guys, so uh, my car goes way at the other end of this runway. We're gonna make our way that way. Alright, now on my system, I use a gaming laptop. So... And I fly everything 100% VR. I don't almost never use the keyboard except for maybe a line of camera or something. I have all the uh, important key functions uh, bound or mapped to some devices that I have. I have one on my collective. I have one, I'm sorry, I have one on my cyclic. It's a four button mini USB device. And then I have a four button USB device mounted to my collective right underneath. And I have a um, number pad that I use uh, to uh, map other buttons as well. Uh, so let's see what the cargo is looking like. See if I can call something up. Not ready yet. Alright, I'm still too far from my cargo. So this is no early November 2024 and uh, they just I just did the latest DCS update and it seems to be better. There are some things they fixed. All right, so let's do uh, let's do the Humvee first. Right, let's do that Humvee. I think it's going to tell me to do the Humvee. Yeah. All right, so um, again, we're in the Chinook. There's my red smoke indicating that's the one that uh, we're going to pick up. Yeah, this Chinook flies super fast for a helicopter, but the brakes are horrible on it. So I can't. I uh, have to. You know, it's not always like you just pull back like you do on other helicopters. You kind of have to, what I'm finding is I have to kind of rotate the ass in around a bit. All right, so here we are. The crew chief's going to start walking me into this. And let's see. All right. I like to clap it in from the left. Get out of the way, smoke. That smoke does affect my the uh, performance of my system. So the sooner it goes away... I think it's a little bit better. All right, here we go. You got it, brother. All right. All right, we're in position. Hook her up, baby. Take her up. All right, and we are good there. Let's take a look. All right, that's what we look like on the outside. All right, so we're going to go and drop this. Now... DCS quite hasn't got their uh, sling system together yet. More than likely, when I put this down, it's going to do some weird stuff. Come on, computer, catch up. All right, come on. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to make our way over to uh, drop this Humvee off. There's the Humvee. Looking good, nice and steady. That's my external camera, the F4, as I was mentioning earlier. So 
So we're gonna drop it right up here at this warehouse. Come on. Alright, it's right between. It's gonna be on the other side of these uh, hangars. So I'm gonna come to the right just a bit. We'll drop it right there. Let's see. Look good. If you start slowing down a bit. Alright, let's see how easy this is going to be, or difficult, uh, who knows. Alright, let's get her to swing around. Oh, I'm already going way too fast for this drop. I'm going to have to make a loop, because I am way too fast. Way, way, way too fast. I'm going to put it right down there somewhere, in front of that warehouse, where all that other cargo stuff is. Alright, see so if I can get my way over it. That's not too bad. I can probably make this work. Alright, now my side picture doesn't look good, man. I bail. I go around. So, so far this is looking good. I do not like having to hover and descend straight down with the load, but in this case, here I am. Alright, I'm going to try to put it down kind of at my 1130. Oh, I was. I looked down at my chin bubble. Yeah, I want to definitely come this way. Alright, look good. Look good. There we go, let me clear that. Roger that. Uh, I'm liking it right about here somewhere. Alright, let's see if I can get my act together. Alright, I'm feeling my aircraft under it pretty good. Now I do, I do have a uh, base shaker system, so I can feel the vibrations through my rig and through my harness, five point harness. Alright, alright. Looking good, I'm liking it. Alright, let me pop that. Alright, come on to the ground. On the ground, and nice. Yeah, and it typically does that, yeah. Figured it was gonna do that. Alright, so let's take a look. Whew, that was intense. Right, let's see what we look like. I'm sure it's flipped over. It typically does that, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, it's alive, it's possessed. Alright, let's go get a. Uh, uh, let's go get a container. All right, so one thing that I recently discovered is that I have to reset my cargo switch. So let me get leveled out here a bit. All right, I like that. And then I got to reset this bad boy. There we go. Now it'll pick up a second one. If you don't do that, it, it hooks and then unhooks it right away. So it's like, what the hell? That happened to me several times and then after watching several videos, I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's the piece of information I was missing, apparently. We'll see right here again. All right, let's do a, uh, pick up a container. Any one of these is good. Let's go with that one. All right, what's my external camera looking like? Beautiful. All right, so that's what we're going to pick up, where the smoke is. So if you're new to DCS and you're into helos, I would suggest jumping into the Huey, easiest one to fly, works great with most systems I would think, you know, performance wise. For my system, again, I use a laptop, so a gaming laptop, it's not, it's a th uh, RTX uh, 3070 card, so I'm pushing the hell out of it, and it's pretty smooth, in the, in the Huey it's real, real smooth, I mean, it's super smooth. Uh, in some of the other aircraft, like the Chinook and the uh, OH-58, it's, you know, it's it's not, it's not 100% smooth, it's about 99.9, 99.8 smooth, uh, but still very, 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 very pliable. This one, anytime there's like smoke and stuff, it does cause a little bit of stutter, but then it clears, and then it's all good again. So, uh, VR is amazing, it's very immersive. Alright, let's see if we get focus here. Forward. Alright, hook me up. She's up. Uh, Alright, you got it, brother. Alright, a little bit of lag there. There we go. That's my external view. Alright, let's do that. Let's go drop it right next to... Alright, right to that. There we go. Look good. Right, let's go drop it by that Humvee. Let's just drag it over. Or fly it over these uh, warehouses. 
So as I was saying, yeah, the Huey is the easiest one to fly. Learn how to fly that one, and then you can jump into other aircraft, other helicopters. Chinook's pretty easy now, uh, now that with all the upgrades. Um, you know, it's a big ass bus. You're flying a bus. It's a cargo thing. So the Huey is a utility aircraft. The OH-58 is just a, a freaking awesome machine to fly. I love that one. But, you know, because it's small. All right, look good. But, you know, there's not a lot of missions and things that you can do with it other than just fly around and shoot at stuff. Uh, which is fun, but, you know, it's I like it because it's real agile. Agile, man, it's fast. Well, I wouldn't say it's fast. It's just really small. And in VR, it, it feels like you're in that darn aircraft, man. It's real, real nice. All right, so here we go. We're going to try to put it down. Ooh, I don't have a whole lot of room in there now that I'm looking at it. So I'll put it out in front of that truck, in front of that 18-wheeler. That looks like I can probably do that. And I'm just going to keep going this direction. All right, look good. I'm just going to nudge it over, start slowing down a bit. Start to slow down a bit. All right. Work my way over. See if I can put it on that little gray patch there. All right, look good. That was a good little stop. Boy, that fuel truck is definitely in the wrong spot. Woo, who moved that fuel truck over? Shit. Alright. See my, uh... Alright, let me focus. Let me focus. Focus, focus, focus. I gotta move way up. Ooh, I'm probably gonna smash him. Boy, that fuel truck is, like, way jacked. Alright, let me move forward a bit. Alright. Like... And release it. And she's unhooked. All right, guys. So there you go. Oh, there's that. <laughs> ah, shit. There's the uh, Humvee. You see it right there? Let's see. It's alive. You see it right there? <laughs> By the building. Oh, right there. Holy cow. Well, DCS, you got to fix that one. That fuel truck's nice, though. Right in my spot. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh... Man, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, like, subscribe, if you'd like to donate, i definitely appreciate it, thank you, buy me a cup of coffee, uh, yeah man, so uh, have an awesome day, if you have any questions about the Chinook, uh, any, anything DCS related, VR related, I'll see what I can do to answer your questions.